Hello, my name is Brian. In this video, I'm going to discuss a few things when you're starting on Twitter. You may not be new maybe on Twitter, but you haven't been so active on Twitter. You have no followers and uh, you know you can't get your voice out, out to the people. So we're going to kind of uh, cover some few things. My video is short, so let me get started, okay? So this is my Twitter. When you're new on Twitter, I assume you are kind of have an account on Twitter, okay? After getting an account on Twitter, the first thing would be kind of get some followers, all right? I have like 13K followers. Uh, of course, I didn't get them in one day, but it's a journey, but it's not really hard, okay? Um, I believe you're like me and me, I'm like you, you're uh, really not a political person or really a celeb, like, you know, you're an artist, you're just a normal person. Uh, so this video is just for an average person like you and me, okay? So... The mistake people get is after getting their accounts, they usually follow the accounts which they are recommended. And they recommended Tesla, they recommended, uh, you know, uh, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, you know, those big brands you get. But the problem is that is these people are not going to follow you back. You remember you're trying to find people you can grow with. You're trying to find some followers and also you're trying to find people who can follow you back. So when you're new on, on, on X, make sure you just don't follow anyone which Twitter, uh, which X recommends you because it's gonna recommend you the president of the United States, uh, you know, Bill Gates, um, you know, and those people are not going to follow you back. For example, Tesla has like 2.21 million followers, but it's following like 54. So probably they're not going to follow you back. Okay, unless you're a big person, okay? But so adding Tesla, unless I want to get updates from Tesla, I'm not going to add Tesla on my account, okay? I'm going to find people who can follow me back, okay? So it's kind of important for everyone who is starting up to know the kind of people who can follow you back. And also, what kind of people do you want, all right? If a sports person, you can maybe try to look into the uh, people who are fan of sports. Let me say I'm in art, okay? Um, an art, uh, uh, I'm an artist and uh, I want to see, I want to connect with fellow artists, okay? So what I will do is I can search, let me just say art and crafts, okay? Let me just, just give you an example of, I mean, to art and I really want to find people who are, who, who I can connect to, they're related to art or may like art, all right? So I can search art and crafts, uh, X will bring me, uh, it's kind of weird, it's better than like Twitter, okay. So X will bring you like some results, okay. I can say maybe the latest. The reason why I want to say the latest is the latest means these people are maybe still active. For example, Mackenzie Gall, she's like seven minutes, she has just posted. So connecting with this person may be, she's still on, on X. So when, it can, when I connect with him, he might connect me, connect with me back, okay. But be careful. Uh, if you're on a computer, this is possible on a computer. If you're on a phone, you can kind of hover there. But if you're on a computer, you can put a mouse and you realize Mac Mackenzie is 269 followers and 182. So there's a probability of her following you back, okay? Her following you back because there's, there's the big the difference is not so big. Make sure like you follow people who at least have more they are following more people than the followers or the range between this is a bit small. I'm going to explain more on that. So I can, you you follow people who have art, who are interested in what you want, okay? So I can scroll down, I can scroll down. You see people who are hashtagging. So before you follow him, you kind of put a mouse on him. So she's following more people than the followers. So probably she's also trying to reach out to more people. So this, account i may probably have to follow it okay because probably she will follow me back okay because the following are more than the followers so make sure you when you're starting up try to follow a lot of people as you can but make sure they are following more people than the followers okay if someone is following more people it means it's trying to reach out also to people but if someone has a big difference in is maybe having like 1 million followers and it's following two people, it means like he's already maybe a, a label, a big brand, and he really doesn't care, uh, care following back people. So it's already big. It's you who needs them. 
it's you who needs him, okay? Sorry. So remember, for you at this time, you're trying to find people you can follow and they fall back so that you, your connections can grow. So you just don't follow anyone, okay? So, and also you have to follow people who may want what you're going to do. So this is an example of arts and crafts. Uh, uh, Google will bring people who are posting about that stuff. So it means when you add these people who are, um, uh, are uh, related to what you, what you, related to what you're searching, or what you're going to post, it will be easier to connect with them. Okay, this is just an example. You can be here and say, maybe let me let me find people who are who are, you know, who are interested, maybe in travel. You know, you may be maybe a travel company or something. By the way, we also do trainings for NGOs and travel companies. I'll bring to that later. So I can say hashtag travel to bring you travel. It's important to say latest because latest you can easily engage with the people. Who are still online this one has just been posted like 19 seconds so it means if you follow him back if you follow him most cases is still online okay something like that you just follow so that's how that's why it's important to use the latest because the, you may follow someone when maybe he's not so active on on x maybe she checks in like once now once in a month or something okay so it's uh, it's important to interact with people to connect with people who are still on X at that time. So it's it's better to, if you do it by searching a, a certain hashtag related to what you're going to be doing and also you go under the latest, okay? There's even top. Top means these are top things which ranked a lot, okay? Sometimes they may be okay. Still the, the, the current ones, but sometimes the top may be an old post which, which, which really, you know, kind of topped a lot of, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, audience so you get so <clears throat> so make sure you try to interact with people who are who are still on x and all who have not been all for a long time this is 57 minutes that is fine this is one hour that is okay you just put a mouse here now this one is following a few people and has a lot of followers so probably if i'm starting a new account i may not really follow him because Remember you have a small brand, she, he might not follow you back because she already has a lot of followers and why would he really follow you unless you are really too exciting, you know? So for the start, such accounts, I can really, I can kind of ignore them because I need people who can follow me back, okay? I need people who can follow me back. So uh, this one has like 8,000 is following more people and uh, the followers the followers are more than the following so so in this kind of account i think i can risk following this couple because even if they are following their following is a bit small to the followers the difference is small so there's a big chance of them following you back okay so you have to be in position to judge which account can follow you back easily and which accounts are not going to follow you back easily. Okay, let's check out the suggested one. This is like 50,000 followers, 47. But the problem with the recommendations from X, they may not be in the category that you want. You want people who are interested in travel. Uh, X can recommend you just big brands, maybe for some reason, okay? So it's important to kind of try to focus on a kind of, people you want and if you do it well it reach a moment x will know the its algorithm will know what you want then it starts recommending you the people who are interested in travel or interested in art something like that so it's something which you have to get right from the beginning okay from the beginning if you just add anyone it will be hard for you all right so that's why like remember at the end of the day you may need people who you can convert to who you can convert to clients. For example, if you're in tours and travel and you're posting and your audience is more of like uh, people who just love football, and you know, you know, those people may, when you when it comes time to sell out your travel, they may not really buy your stuff or really engage with you because they're not into travel. So it's important to kind of add people who are like uh, mind, uh, like minded like you, okay? And that one you can do it using uh, you, you try by searching, okay? 
Now, earlier before that, it was easy. What we used to do before uh, uh, Elon Musk put these li limitations, what we used to do is we we'll, we we'll go to an account like this. Then you click on the on the followers. So when you click on the followers, we used to just harvest from accounts. But Elon Musk really complained was like you know some boots are kind of doing uh, data collection from his platform. So he kind of lock this thing off. So what what happens when you go to Tesla and or any other accounts and you try to try to browse through their the followers, okay? They usually don't bring you all of them. So out of the 2.5 million, X can show can show you like maybe 50. You can imagine. So earlier be earlier before the restriction we just go into an account and you just uh, follow, you know, follow. But now this is kind of impossible. They limit you. So how do you do that? And that is the second thing. We, that is the second session we're going to go into. For example, you're on 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 X and you want to grow, but how do you follow these people? Where do you get them now? Okay, because area it was possible, and actually half of the people, almost sixty people, sixty percent of the people have. Yeah, I got them like that. Okay, I would just win from other accounts, but right now it's kind of impossible. So what you do these days? If you want to follow more people apart from hashtagging and find the people who are related to what you want, okay, what you do is uh, you try to find people who are engaging with a certain post, okay? For example, let me hashtag, uh, let me just say, uh, okay, I'm from California, let me just say uh, uh, California, right? Maybe I may be specific, I just, I may just say, okay, California. California, maybe uh, tours, okay? I'm just giving an example, okay? Um, so California tours, uh, I can try to say, okay, latest. Let's try to find people who are still on the, on the platform. This is two hours ago. Yeah, okay, it has no comment, so I may have to leave this. So uh, I'm, I'm looking for something which has comments, all right? So because uh, sometimes you can even harvest from the comments which are on there, on a post, okay. Um, it's better if we if you look for a comment which has uh, a topic which has uh, more more comments. So let's try out this. Okay, this was in Feb nine. So so I can I can harvest from these people who are commenting here. Like there's 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 Louis. I can put on a mouse and I kind of trap follow him. Okay. But be careful if Lewis, Lewis has more followers than following. So probably if you're a startup, you may kind of ignore this because she, he may not follow you back, okay? So uh, it's important to look for the ratio. The ratio of the following has to be more than the followers. Okay, uh, this is Diane, but Diane, the problem, he has no picture, but he's following more people than the followers. So I may kind of risk following this. I'm going to tell you why I usually don't follow like accounts with other profiles, but that is fine. It shows like it's kind of active. Uh, there is uh, this, she's following more people than the followers. So all these people are potential people can be added on your platform, okay? Now remember for you, average person, if you are maybe a model or a president or someone important, the people will just search you and they get you and they follow you. But if you're an average person, you may have to put in some efforts to kind of find people who you can follow and they follow you back, okay? It's kind of an exhausting thing, but if you really want to get started, it's something which you have to consider doing, okay? Now, this is important. You don't have to follow a lot of people in a day. I think if you're starting up, it's better to follow like 50 people, not like 200 people, because Twitter will kind of put you in an X prison, you know, this what prison in courts. Like they put restrictions on your account, where you can follow more people, okay? In fact, you have to make sure like the ratio of your following is, is almost the same. For example, if I'm following like 13.4, I have 13.1 followers. Uh, the richer moment when the ratio is too big, they don't allow you to follow more. So what you do when you arise, maybe at the end of a month, people have been followed back. You have to go to your following, okay? Because you may follow like 100 people, but maybe 20 people follow you back. So after like some time, you have to click on following. Then you have to go down, down, down to the start, and you remove off the people who are not following you. 
the reason why, why you have to do this is the, re the reach a moment when you can't follow more people because you are following a lot of people, but they are not following you back. So you kind of have to balance. If you're following, for example, like 500 people, at least you need to have 300 people following you back. If you realize you're following 500 people and only 60 people are following you back, you have to get time and remove some people who are not following you back, okay? But you have to be careful. You don't have to go at the top because the, the top, the people who are on the top are the, are the recent people I followed. So it may be, maybe I follow them like at night. So it's important to, to go to your following and go to the bottom, okay? These followers are arranged by date. The current one are on the top and the old ones are at the bottom. So it's important to remove the old ones because the latest ones haven't got time to follow you back. Maybe they are still asleep. Maybe she will, uh, he or he will log in after like two days. So it's important to go to the bottom, the people you first added and you remove them off, okay? So once in a while you have to go down and okay, you say, okay, these guys haven't followed me back, let me remove them off. So it's something which you have to know. Otherwise, uh, there's a time you reach and you have like maybe, 5,000 people, you're following 5,000 people, but you're having only 1,000 people are following you back. So Twitter will put a restriction on you until you get at least 80% of people following you back. So don't wait to reach 5,000 people and struggle removing almost 4,000 people. That will take you a lot of time. If it is not a one day, it will take you, actually, it can be one day. It will be a lot of time. So what I do every month, I get time and remove off. Some people are not following me back. Unless you really want someone to, unless you really want to follow someone, you get irrespective of him or her following you back. Okay. So, yeah, so we have covered about uh, starting up on Twitter. So, the so first thing is you have to try to find some followers, people you can follow and who can follow you back. We have realized you have to make sure like the person kind of have more following than followers. I'm a person who you can easily follow because my following is more than the followers actually. So because I'm trying to engage with more people that I can. So probably there's a big chance that I'll follow you back because I'm interested in growing my network, okay? Then another thing, if you're new on Twitter, okay, we have seen how to get more followers. You have seen it, you, have, you can just follow more people, but take care, make sure their ratios are healthy, okay? Uh, then we have seen, how to avoid getting to the pre uh, X restrictions. Don't follow a lot of people per day. At least make it like 50, okay? Make it like 50, not 100. All right. Now, um, uh, then uh, when you're new, try to have your profile. Try to have a picture and a cover photo, you know? The, the, the thing is like when you follow someone, someone I may refuse to follow you back because your profile looks like a ghost account. Some people have no pictures, some people have no profiles and some have no even description. It kind of looks, it goes to many people. I understand you may be sensitive about putting your picture, but you can use maybe a cat or dog or something. That is fine. But try to have a picture on your, on, on your, on your Twitter, on your ex account. Okay, and also make sure your profile description is not so, uh, that doesn't sound like a salesman, okay? For example, the guys who really are into like Bitcoin business and all that stuff, I usually don't follow those people because after following them, they are going to send you, um, you know, messages every day to join their Telegram. It kind of messes up my messages, okay? So I really avoid uh, bios which look too much of sales, you know? So um, so it's important to sound neutral. I know you may want to sell something on Twitter, but it's important to have something neutral. Don't sound too much of a salesman, okay? Connect with me and win, you know, those kind of things. They kind of uh, make people really run away because they think you're going to, you know, bombard them with email, with messages every day, you know, something like that, okay? So remember, to, most, most time people use X for, you know, just for fun and it's not really. So if it's a business, if you're running a business and you want to, to run it on Twitter, you have to be, you have to kind of sound, um, you don't have to sound too much of business every time. You have to get, sometimes you have to be casual, 
okay? So sure. So it doesn't mean you have to be posting business every time, right? People are here for fun. People are here to relax. Yeah, most of people are not here for business. So don't be so much of business, okay? Just try to be a normal person. Even if it's a, it's a, it's a business account, doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't mean you can post something of what's going on in the country. It doesn't have to be always business, okay? Then I'm going to cross this video by talking about the uh, the pin, uh, pinned treat, okay? Because, uh, for example, uh, I'm a designer. I'm a web developer. I'm a web developer. But when you look at my posts, most of them are not really always begging for business. You know, um, no. Some some of my posts are just neutral posts, uh, uh, posting about something about life. You know, something like that. So what I did is to avoid asking people to give me work. I kind of pinned a, a treat. Okay, it's always the first one. All right. So uh, a pin treat always always remains on the top. So when I, when I post stuff, they go below the pin treat. Actually, a pin treat means you are going to have this treat always on the top. Then uh, whenever you post, other posts and retreats can always go down, okay? So when someone has time, you can check out your profile and the first thing which it will see is this message, then it can, you know, can proceed to others. So instead of asking for business in every post, you can just pin it up then leave that and then you talk about other things okay people don't want to really people really hate uh, to be begged for in a service so you 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 sound too begging if you kind of every time you're asking for business so so you can just make it a pin then you you start posting your stuff okay so uh you can leave a you can leave a comment below if uh, you need to uh learn something about twitter or you have a comment about this video I would love to, I would love to hear about you, okay? And uh, I really appreciate for you taking time to watch this video and I appreciate a like and a subscription from you, okay? Then maybe the last thing is the treats, uh, the, the trends on the right side. Someone was asking me about them. Now the trends, it's fine to go with the trends, but sometimes the trends may be off topic for you. For example, you can get clients from you know now Mia Khalifa is trading but you know whatever you want you may not really want people you know from that line uh you know sometimes you know so it's better to uh, to search your hashtags that you want if you are in a car business it's better to you know search car st stuff and then you you harvest from the people who are appearing under that hashtag other than always going for the training ones. The training ones are fine as long as they're read to you. Okay, other, other than that, sometimes they're just general, okay? TikTok, Missy, all that stuff, all that stuff. Okay, so thank you very much and I hope to see you next in my next video. And bye-bye.